Welcome to this Windows channel and this is part 5 out of 9 of what we have as a full review of the creators update and in this part 5 we will talk about the gaming features and Nightlight so we'll see these two little things in part 5 I'll start with the easy one the Nightlight so in creators update a new feature has been added and you see it here called Nightlight. Now I didn't think about it but yesterday when I tried it and our people were seeing what it does I kind of didn't uh, realize that it happens at the level of the lighting of the system not in the colors and that it might not show up when we do it uh, in, the, um, in the in the videos so uh, sorry about that. So basically Nightlight is a feature, new feature in Windows 10 Creators Update. Uh, why it's there? It's simply because um, there are some um, tests that have been done, there are some reports that came out that suggest that LED screens emit uh, blue light, a little more blue light than you know regular screens we had before, and that it interferes with our sleep and especially if you use your computers and tablets before going to bed. So Nightlight is available as a button in the Action Center. It also is available um, as settings basically. So if you go into your settings and you go into uh, System, you will see that in the display there's something called Nightlight settings right here. So you can turn Nightlight on or off and you can of course um, you know play with the settings for the nightlight so here color temperature at night uh, this is the color temperature of your screen when you actually turn on nightlight going more towards the red shift or more a little more uh, in the white shift um, basically depending on what you like when you actually get into nightlight because it does change uh, the colors slightly on your screen and there's a schedule that you can do. Now, because Windows 10 knows when the sun rises and sets in your home, you can actually um, basically get um, the nightlight to turn on at sunrise or sun at the basically at sunset and then you know shut off at sunrise so that it's at night. Or you can set, of course, the hours in which it will turn on or off. So basically by doing this, now you actually have the possibility to um, simply turn it on only when you wish to have it. And uh, basically this is also a possibility to do it at a specific time. So um, this is Nightlight. It's a blue light reduction feature. What else do we have? Now we'll go into the hardcore of gaming. In the Creators Update, there's a new section called Gaming. Why? Because even though there weren't really, you know, Microsoft never did really focus very hard on the gaming aspects of PCs, PCs are gaming machines for many, many users. So basically, they have in the settings now a gaming. Um, icon or a gaming tab and this gaming tab gives to you all sorts of goodies for gamers so there's the game bar that you can control and uh, basically do what you want you can customize your shortcuts which is very nice so you know you got default shortcuts to bring for example let me press the Windows and G and you'll see that the game bar is here and you can change that why? Because sometimes, you know, if you're a PC gamer that plays, for example, on your keyboard, well, maybe that could interfere with, you know, a game, for example. So you can actually choose your own shortcuts if you want, or maybe have shortcuts that you'll find a little easier to um, do the same thing. So the game bar is here. The game bar is that uh, thing that basically will help you do a lot of stuff. Uh, from the Xbox side, when you click, you get into the Xbox app where there's some gaming stats and all sorts of uh, game um, information. You can, of course, do a screenshot. Uh, you can record 
you can uh, start a recording session like a DVR. You can broadcast with Beam, uh, which is pretty nice. So you would broadcast through the Microsoft and Xbox services. And of course, you've got all the settings that you can play with, including a famous game mode. Now, it isn't clear as to if game mode will work very well. But, you know, as we get now into Creators Update, some people will try it. The hardcore game is well. And, of course, you can uh, now record. And you can also have game mode enabled. Game mode is a mode where every resource on your PC is channeled on your game. Meaning, your RAM is more efficient with the gaming. Your um, the, All the services that are not really used in the PC will be only secondary. Your game's own processes will be really put up front and be the most important one. So better gaming experience apparently, better frames per second, better uh, streaming also. So these are all new little things that of course um, are happening. And of course you uh, have different little um, options for if you use an Xbox controller on your PC. Uh, also, um, you know, you can show the game bar automatically if uh, a game is compatible with the game bar. Now, one thing that you got to know that some games are still not compatible with the game bar and the game DVR stuff. Microsoft is actually um, regularly updating a list of all the games that are compatible for full screen playing and DVR capabilities. And of course, on the left side here, you've got the capabilities of the uh, DVR. So if you click on the option, you got game DVR, uh, how long you want to record, uh, all the settings that you can change. So it's a really complete, uh, you know, settings for different gaming experiences on your gaming PC. Uh, all sorts of settings for broadcasting. That's also something interesting as you can stream now directly from Windows. You don't need, you know, third party apps to do online streaming of your games uh, and really you know have full HD streaming of your games while you're playing them in full screen which is very very nice and of course your PC needs to be uh, powerful enough to support these capabilities and of course the famous game mode with an on off switch so uh, if you desire to put it off and uh, this is of course I think going to please a lot of gamers out there so uh, new gaming capabilities in uh, Windows 10 Creators Update and of course I'm sure all of you gamers out there will want to try that out as you um, test out the uh, different options here. It's going to be interesting to see everybody playing games and you know broadcasting themselves uh, using Beam technology in Creators Update. If you enjoy my videos please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions let us know. Thank you for watching.